If an artist is good at their job, then you'll be led to believe that every brushstroke is intentional, but it's a truly hard task to keep track of all of them when you're making a film with countless other people who might just f*** up your work. Most of the time, when somebody messes up and it makes its way into the movie, it's only discovered later when the whole thing is completed, because, I mean, why would a filmmaker release a film with obviously broken bits in it? This isn't the video game industry we're talking about. Hello, Bethesda. But occasionally, that's actually exactly what happens. Sometimes mistakes are left in there, making them not really mistakes at all, but actually a hint at something else that either production or budget restraints forced into being. We've already looked at 10 of these moments, so why not till the rich soil of content once more and look at these? With this in mind, I'm Jules for WhatCulture.com, and these are eight more movie mistakes that were totally intentional. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to stay notified. Ding, ding, done. Number 8. Hagrid's Moving Hut – The Prisoner of Azkaban When the directorial switch happened for the third Harry Potter book film, there was a definite move to recapture some of the spirit of the books in the aesthetic designs. Unfortunately, this meant that Hagrid's Hut and the Whomping Willow were moved, which fans have long considered to be a glaring mistake, especially as Rowling's own design notes for the films had them far closer to the castle. But it wasn't a mistake. For the key Buckbeak rescue sequence, it was required that Harry, Ron and Hermione have a raised vantage point for both to witness the events and for the time travel element to work convincingly. So the hut was moved in order to better suit the story, so while not technically correct, made much more sense for the director. Number 7. The Missing Front Door – The Birds As he proved in Psycho, Alfred Hitchcock was a master of narrative implication making things happen in the imaginations of his audience without actually showing them on screen. Which is why the final sequence in The Bird includes a moment where the survivors leave the house and Mitch opens a front door that isn't even there. He clearly mimes opening the door, which is then shown not to be there when they walk through the doorway and out of the house. And again, that's exactly what Hitchcock intended. The audience simply filled in the gaps with their imagination and a little encouragement. The door had to be removed to allow the camera to move through it, so the director used light to imply that the door was opened while Mitch mimed. As Victoria Cartwright later reported when he was asked why people wouldn't notice, he put it down to the magic of movies. Number 6. The Magical Towel – Striptease in the notorious Demi Moore movie Striptease, we get one of the most gratuitous nudity shots in the history of cinema as Moore dances around her bedroom in a towel to Annie Lennox's Little Bird, after we all do, after a shower, obviously. As she puts her underwear on, there's a brief shot that shows her about to pull off the towel covering her body, only for the next scene to show it still tied around her. Her modesty was apparently intentionally covered despite it appearing to be a mistake, as the filmmakers didn't want her to be topless during that part of the scene when she bent over to put her shorts on, because that would obviously be too much. Number 5. The Disappearing Barrier – The Matrix Reloaded during the excellent highway sequence in The Matrix Reloaded, which is actually one of the only really great moments of the film, we get to see the twins taking on the full might of Morpheus and a katana. Sparks fly and some of the best car stunt work ever made is committed to scene. But there's a mistake in Morpheus' defiant last stand moment, because when he dodges the twin's car and somehow flips it with one swing of the blade, in the shots from behind Morpheus you can clearly see the narrow road has two crash barriers, but then in the wide shot there's no barrier between the action and the camera. But it's not actually sloppy though, the barrier was removed intentionally so that we could actually see him slice through the car in cool slow motion. The barrier then returns for the closer shot and the bird's eye views. So yeah, it's technically a mistake of design choice, but works in the grander scheme. Plus, I mean, you could always just blame it on the coding of the Matrix itself for having a mare. I mean, trust us, it happens here all the time. Number 4. The Bloodied Hand – Django Unchained Django Unchained has a number of pretty big factual errors, but that's what happens when you play liberally with history for the sake of your stories. Some of the continuity errors in there are more concerning, but there's one error that made it into the movie that was so great that it simply couldn't be cut. When Calvin Canty is giving his speech on slave genetics, at one point he angrily slams his hand onto the table to make his passion obvious, smashing a glass in the process. So committed was Leonardo DiCaprio as the raging slave owner that despite cutting his hand open for real on the glass, he continued, calmly cleaning the blood and glass from his hand with a napkin. The take was so brilliant that it's the one that made it into the final movie. Number 3. Denethor's Impossible Run – Lord of the Rings – The Return of the King 
There are some pretty iconic deaths in The Lord of the Rings, from Boromir's last stand to King Theoden's tragic end, but none are quite so gruesome as the end of Boromir's father, Denethor. Believing both his sons to be dead and his bloodline ended, Denethor decides to kill himself on Faramir's funeral pyre, only to be interrupted by Gandalf who saves the not-dead Faramir. Denethor is engulfed in flames and runs off to throw himself off the prow of the city to his death. But that's pretty impossible, as the tomb he starts in and the prow are a length that not even your mum would take, there's my one per list. Even accounting for adrenaline, there's no way he'd make that distance on fire. But the mistake was intentional as Peter Jackson had envisioned the dramatic shot so early on and wanted in there whether it was impossible or not. So yeah, you're welcome. Number 9. The Moving Lift – Men in Black 2 after air quotes rescuing Kay from the post office, Jay brings him back to the Men in Black headquarters to give us an inversion of the first movie sequence where Jay himself sees the unreal sight of the alien-filled HQ. For full effect, the elevator they get out of embarks at a raised platform above the room for a useful vantage point. But then later on when Jay and Kay head back to the HQ to take on Selina, the lift drops them off at ground floor level. It looks pretty sloppy, but it actually serves a purpose. They're greeted by a trash can robot fitted with heavy artillery that shoots the elevator up, which wouldn't have been possible had it dropped them off at the original elevated spot. And number one, the English displays, Star Wars. In Star Wars, it's established that the display consoles don't use English annotations and instructions as part of the alien mystique around the galaxy far, far away. They generally look like this, with lots of weird symbols and the like. It's not a big deal either, as you don't really need to know what that display says. I mean, you get the overall gist, right? So why then, when Obi-Wan deactivates the Death Star's force field, is the tractor beam gauge marked power clearly in English? Surely that's a mistake. Well, it is, but it was used intentionally so that the audience knew that the console was important and could tell what Obi-Wan was actually doing. Which kind of goes against the rest of the film, but there we go. It was meant to be there according to the living god of changes himself, that is, George Lucas. Hello there, you've made it all the way to the end of the video, and as part of my designated 18 hours of community service, I'm here to tell you that we have a number of other channels available for you to subscribe to, as well as other slightly, possibly not related videos for you to watch. So please do one of the things to my left or right, otherwise I have to pick up leaves on the roadside.